Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this video will show you the key features associated with Access Camera Station Smart Search 2. Smart Search 2 is an additional tool that can help you find objects such as vehicles and people and is a complement to recording video by events and using video scrubbing to find video of interest. Let's take a look at the tool. The user interface is simple. On the left hand side, you can select your cameras and a time range. You can then select the characteristics of the object you are looking for, such as a person or a vehicle. You can then apply additional filters. Let's take a look at an example search. Here, I'm looking for a red Fiesta entering the car park. I first select the camera covering the car park Note that you can perform smart search on multiple cameras simultaneously by selecting multiple cameras. Next, I select a time range. I know the car entered the car park around half past eight, so I select quarter past eight to quarter past nine. Next, I deselect the person search and select a red car within the vehicle menu. This search has returned 32 detections of various red cars passing through the scene. We can now use an additional filter to narrow down the search. And here I have selected a line crossing to refine the search. The search now has presented four detections and I can identify the vehicle of interest. I can simply click on the detection and a preview of the video is displayed. I can also open the video in the recording playback workspace for further investigation, or as in this case, I can send it directly to the export. A really useful feature is the ability to save your searches. This saves you time and effort the next time you need to search in a similar way. So taking the example of finding vehicles coming into the car park, I can create a generic car park search. So I select an hour previous and remove the color filter and save the filter. I can then open this whenever I require it. At the top of the interface, we have additional features. The first icon allows you to reorder the detections from earliest to latest and vice versa. The confidence slider changes the amount of detections returned. When we slide to low, you will see more results displayed. Here you can see we now have additional detections of the person entering. But when we observe the confidence level, we can see that it is lower. This ensures that detections are always available. When we take a look at a detection from the default setting, we can see this has a higher confidence, but you will have less detections returned in your search. The next function is for grouping your results. So in our example, you can see we have a number of detections that have occurred in a similar time frame. We can use the slider to group these detections. This makes it easier to review the results. Note that you can also click on the grouping and see the detections contained within the group. Finally, we have the unknown object detections. This will display detections that cannot be classified, giving you even more video to work with. Here we can see that the unknown results have been created by the sliding door. Again, the grouping function helps us manage the results. I hope this video has helped explain the key features and how Smart Search 2 can help you in your investigations. Thank you for watching.